How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Stand Focus for Jesus. Hope each and every one of you are having a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ. As always, thank you all for the uh, the prayers. Thank you for the the love. I am definitely feeling um, feeling better, whatnot. So that's a obviously a good thing, a good thing. But um, hold my phone like this because I am working, driving, about to go pick up another batch of deliveries. It's just me by myself today. And um, y'all know it's hot. It's hot. I got on black. Somebody said, why did man got on black? Got on black and it's 90-something, 100-something degrees outside. Well black actually helps you to cool off in comparison to other colors the reason is why because black absorbs you know the colors the heat and therefore it will cause your body to regulate itself better it will cause the body to regulate itself better even when you go over to the Middle East so-called Middle East we know what the Middle East really is North Africa you will see that they are covered in clothing. And then you talk to them, or if you're familiar with the area, my wife is familiar with the area, she was in the military, she talked to a lot of people and stuff, and they end up being cool, super, 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 super cool. Their body is cool. When you don't have, um, when you don't wear dark colors, when you wear a lot of light colors, you really you don't have no protection. You don't have any protection and so let's say I got on black in comparison to a, a white shirt or a um, you know pastel colored shirt there's no barrier there so your skin is going to absorb all that immediately and that's not necessarily a problem but when you get too much of it that's a problem too much sun for anybody is bad. I don't care if you're black or white. Contrary to popular belief, too much sun for anybody is uh, is bad. Just like you have your skin, melanin. We have different levels of melanin in our skin. And it is a form of protection. It's a form of protection, right? If you have less melanin, then you have less skin protection. And therefore, your risk of cancer and all these different things they rise and we know these things. But <clears throat> to drop a little wisdom on y'all, that's not the point. But you speak at the spirit leads you because you don't know who needs to hear what. Bad news. Bad news is always bad news. Y'all know that I'm an independent contractor. Me and my wife were independent contractors. Our money comes from working. Now that may sound crazy, <laughs> but it comes from working. Literally. Not going to a nine to five, eight to five, or whatnot. We've done that. But I've always been at the as we say in this world, entrepreneur. Y'all know I had a cleaning service. I've had multiple businesses businesses throughout my life. That's just me. I love it. I love it. If I need to work a regular job I will, but if you give me a choice of working a regular job or going through the struggles of entrepreneurship, and there could be some struggles, then I'm gonna choose entrepreneurship. Ain't no pay days off, all this other stuff. If I literally don't work, I don't eat. If I take a day off, that's money lost. I can't put in no pay time off and stuff like that. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of associated costs with being, you know, self-employed, as we say. And with what we do, one of them is vehicle maintenance. Vehicle maintenance. More so because this is a this is more so a business expense. I had a flat tire. Well, no, it wasn't really a flat tire. But I had a bad tire. I thought it was the front. If you hear that noise, it's because we need some shocks in the back, so bear with bear with the brother, unless you want to help a brother get some new shocks for his vehicle, unless you want to help us upgrade to another vehicle. 
<laughs> Other than that, hey, extend me, some, extend me some grace, y'all. Extend me some grace. But we had a bad tire. And I thought it was coming from the front. It was so bad, it felt like the wheel was about to fall off. <laughs> That's how bad it was feeling. I checked the front tire. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with this tire because it felt like it was coming from the front. I'm like, you know what? We just, we just gonna replace the tire because most of the time we just get a, you know, we get a used tire when we have a bad tire. So we can, you know, hurry and get back on the road. And you know, like I said, we got bills and all this other stuff. So we're like, let's just get a used tire for the time being. And then we you know we'll get a new tire later. That's usually what we do when you got money you go get four brand new tires or whatnot right then i'm doing the math i'm like how much the tire is and like i said it's, it's bad like i'm like man we gotta get this fixed because we don't get this fixed then we ain't gonna be able to drive and it's gonna end up costing us more money you know tire blowout something like that and I, like I said, I'm looking at the tire, I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with this tire. I don't see nothing wrong with this tire, nothing wrong with the tire. But I know that because you can't see that something is wrong, doesn't mean that something isn't wrong. Did you hear what I just said? You can't see, just because you can't see that something is wrong, doesn't mean that something isn't wrong. So I'm doing the math. I'm like, you know what? We might as well just get a, get a new tire. Why would you get a new tire from from Walmart and for whatever reason I wasn't calculating all the extra stuff but the tire was like the tire was like $65 and a used tire around here I think they go for like 45 right now and 45 so I'm like I, mean, I just paid the extra paid the extra money it just made business sense to me so we go to Walmart um by the grace of God we know we made it they check the tire and stuff out. End up being a hundred dollars because I got the road hazard and everything. Now I don't want to pay that hundred dollars, obviously, because I was looking to pay a set amount. And when you looking to pay a set amount, then it ends up being more than the course you like. Oh man, <laughs> but end up being a hundred dollars, and that's money I didn't calculate. But the thing was, it wasn't the front tire because the guy took the tire off and he said which tire did you say it was? I said the front he said I don't really see anything wrong with this tire but let me show you something he said look it's, it's this, uh, this back one so he has the car jacked up and he's moving the wheel and everything and he said yeah you see that and you can see it like he was barely turning it and you can see it like moving you can see it moving. He said, you can't see it, but the bands in here are about to break. Meaning the tire was about to blow out. That's why it was shaking. It felt like it was coming from the front. Like I said, we was driving. My wife was like, she could even feel it. My mother-in-law could feel it. And it got progressively worse. So I knew that something was up because I was familiar with that feeling. I was familiar with it. You hear what I'm saying? I was familiar with that. So I knew most likely it was something up with the with the tire. The problem was coming from the back. Listen to what I'm saying. The problem was coming from the back, but it, it vibrated itself to the front. Where it had me thinking it was coming from the front. If you drove it, you'd be like, yeah, that's the front right there. That's the front. It, you could feel it in the floor and everything. It was shaking so bad. It felt like it was coming from the front, but the problem was not the front tire. The problem was the back tire. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what the spirit just said? We thought it was coming from one place, but it was coming from somewhere else. We thought the problem was here, but the problem was somewhere else. You thought the enemy was attacking you right here, but the enemy was attacking you somewhere else. You were looking at the surface, not realizing that the problem was deeper in the back. It was deeply rooted. 
I tell you, I tell you, God has blessed me. I, I'm a, I preach the gospel off of anything. I told you, I'm always learning. I'm always learning. I'm always listening. You be like, and where do you get these sermons from? Because I'm listening to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will reveal things to you, and they'll be so powerful that you won't even realize how powerful they are unless you're listening. But the title of the video is Bad News. It was bad news because I had to pay $100 for that tire. And I didn't want to pay it. I did not want to pay it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> that was bad news. But what seems to be bad news ain't really bad news. We can look at something and, man, this is bad news, man. I got to get a tire. Tire blew out. This happened. That happened. Woo, woo, uh, uh, uh. you just upset. Not realizing what you think is bad news is really great news. Me needing a tire looked to be bad news. Me having to pay $100 looked to be bad news. But it was great news. It was great news because it could have saved our life. That tire could have blew out. And anything could have happened. I got my children in the car. You know, my wife could have been driving with the children in the car, with my mother-in-law in the car. Blowing out, blow out at 60, 65. She may not know how to handle that. Children start screaming, vehicle flip over. Who knows? Who knows? That would have been bad news right there. Now that would have been some bad news, right? <laughs> what we perceive and deem as bad news, y'all, isn't always bad news. Sometimes it is. But even when it is bad news, it can still be good news. When your perspective is from the Most High God. Let's say the tire did blow up, my whole family dies. That's bad news right there, right? But is that good news also? Depends on your perspective. I can look at it and be like, well, my family's gone. They out of out of this mess. <laughs> I'm hurting, but they ain't hurting no more. I'm gonna be hurting for a while, forever, until the pain is gone. But they ain't hurting no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they on the other side of glory. How can how can I be mad at that? Now they on the other side of hell. And yeah, that would be super duper bad news. What is the perspective and understanding of stuff? In the flesh, oh, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. In your spirit, it could even be bad news. But overall, it could still be good news. Me needing a tire was bad news on the surface, but it was really good news because that rectified the problem fix the problem no more shaking like the tire about to fall off because it literally was because the bands in it were coming apart which was causing the tire to shift back and forth until it eventually was going to heat up and bust been there before been there before and not a good situation you got so much going on in the world right now. It seems like you get on um, get on the online world, social media, it's bad news at the bad news at the bad news at the bad news at the bad news. But is it really bad news? The word tells us what the good news is. The good news is the gospel. Therefore, if the good news is the gospel, that means the word of God is good news. And everything that's happening in this world is happening according to the will of God. It's happening according, uh, 
It's happening according to his word. Therefore, everything you see going on in this world that you're waking up and, and partaking of when you're reading and everything is not bad news. It's good news. It's good news because that means that we one more day, one more step, one more prophecy, one more judgment closer to getting off of this rock. And being in 100% a world of righteousness. And I say getting out the right, I mean, getting out of this, uh, this wicked world, the way it is, the way it's set up, and being in a world that is righteous. It's not bad news, everything that's happening in the world. And we know these things that are happening in the world. They're, they're affecting everybody. Believer, non-believer, Jew, Gentile, don't matter. We're all being affected by it. But when you are in Christ, it's not bad news. It's bad news when you ain't in Christ. It's bad news when you're in the flesh. It's bad news when your focus is on the flesh, the flesh, the flesh, the things of the, of the flesh. Then it's bad news. Completely bad news. And yet, even in the midst of the bad news, there's still a glimmer of hope. And that glimmer of hope is the salvation of Christ, the one who is uh, bringing all these things upon the world. I close with this. The things that are going on in your life, you're waking up and this happened, that happened, this happened, that happened. How are you taking it? Are you taking it as bad news? Are you receiving it as bad news? Are you digesting it as bad news? Is it becoming a part of your soul, your spirit, and your body as bad news? Or can something bad be turned into something good by the power of the Holy Spirit? With that being said, God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus Christ's name, as always, stay focused for Jesus. And as you know, the truth is not debated. Just declared.